If you're looking for a super convenient way to keep track of your monthly bills, then this spreadsheet is perfect for you. I'm Gwen and I'm from Savvy and Thriving and this is my bill tracker uh, that's in Google Sheets and Excel. I'm going to show you how it works. So this is just a one uh, page really template. So it's really simple to use um, and I'm going to show you how it works here. So I'm going to make a little I'm going to delete this out for you and then we'll get started. Okay, so these are all the headings and then we're just going to put the name of our bill. And so say this is going to be our power bill. And then we're going to put the name of the company. So power company name and then a phone number just in case we need to contact them and a website. and then how much our monthly payment is. So say it's $120 a month, and then it's due on the first, and did we pay it? Sorry about that. Uh, yes, we did, and we paid it. Is it cash, card, check, or um, ACH, which would be like if you had it set up to where they take it automatically from you, um, and then payment date, so say we paid it on time, and then we can make a note here, say that the, you know, power bill went up, so we can keep track of what might be going on. Um, as we put in payments, um, this pie chart is going to um, get bigger or smaller depending on what we have going on. So say, um, say rent goes up to, I don't know, something stupid like $3,000 a month, then the pie chart is going to get bigger, showing that that month we paid mostly um, money in rent versus everything else. So it kind of could give you an idea of, hey, you know, look, I'm spending a lot on student loans or, hey, my credit card bill is a, is a pretty big fraction. Maybe I could make adjustments. Um, so if you pay your bill monthly, um, everything is going to be on this column. If you only pay it, say, annually, so say you've got something where, you know, some of my things, um, some of my subscriptions, it's cheaper to pay it annually. So if we did it that way, um, so say if we did a subscription uh, for graphic design software, um, software here, and then phone number if possible, and then software um, whatever and say we decided we're going to pay it annually and say it's going to be you know $110 a month versus I'm sorry $110 a year versus paying you know 20 bucks a month um, then that is going to go here on the annual payment side so everything under the annual totals is going to add up here and then everything that you pay monthly is going to go here and so your total bills is going to be here um, and that's just totaling everything in here. It's not factoring out like how much you're paying annually or anything like that. That's not, it's not super complex. It's literally just adding everything up that's on here and that's going to sum everything up here. Um, and so um, that is how this sheet works. It's a very, very simple sheet. It's not super complex, which I like that about um, spreadsheets because I like it to be you know, where it's something I feel like I can use. It's easy to see. It's not like, oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Like, I don't even know where to start. Um, that's the way I like to set it up. So um, if you get this and you purchase it from me at SavvyAndThriving.com, the instructions are going to be on this tab. So you would actually have to click on the tab and then the link to this YouTube video will be here. And um, if you happen to get this and you wanted to use the um, the uh, Excel version, there's just going to be a couple differences. One difference is if you double click in the date um, for Google Sheets, it's going to pop up this really cute calendar and you can choose a date. If you're in Excel, it's not going to do that. You're just going to have to manually put in the date and that's it. That's not that exciting. And the only really other unexciting thing is um, when you have a drop down box, it is not going to look pretty with the colors like this. It's going to look more like a blank cell like this, and then there'll be a little arrow to the right of it. You'll have to click on it, and then it'll show you the drop-down box. So when you get it, you're going to go, where's my drop-down box? It's there. Um, that's really the only difference is um, everything else should work just fine. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I have lots of other spreadsheets that could possibly help you to get organized with your home and your business at SavvyAndThriving.com.